What's going on everybody? It's Rocco with Rocco's Modern Survival. I am back again with another video of the chickens. Um, today I just picked a bunch of grass for all the rabbits and I had some left over. So I was like, you know what? The chickens like grass. So I'll just give them some grass. Uh, they are devouring it nicely, tearing it up very good. Uh, I wanted to do an update on their feed uh, situation. Remember I, I switched them from regular uh, chick starter to egg layer. They don't like it. Well, they don't eat it as, as much as they do everything. I don't know if it's that they're just not eating it or they're just full from the compost and everything. I don't really know yet. Um, I did take a bunch of dust and lay it on the ground and they went through that pretty good. I just, you know, a bunch of the crumble stuff from the bottom of the bag and they, they seem to like that. Um, so I'm wondering if I should take this feed and run it through a food processor and kind of crumble it up a little bit more. Um, it'd be a lot of work, but I want to make sure that they're getting enough protein and fat and stuff like that for their eggs. So I'm wondering, excuse me, sorry, I'm wondering if I should do that. Um, I also wanted to bring you guys over and show you um, something I was working on yesterday. I've been working on it for the past couple of days. You saw it in one of my previous videos when I was doing that review on that bag. And I've been using that bag um, ever since, that review, and I still like it an awful lot. I was using it yesterday and... Uh, it was it was doing a good job yesterday. I just hung it up on the uh, side of the fence or the uh, chicken coop here, and um, the phone was in my pocket, and it was just going at it. And every time I walked away from it, it would uh, disconnect from the Bluetooth <clears throat> and pause my video. But every time I walked back to it, it reconnected to the uh, Bluetooth without me doing anything, which I know it's supposed to do. But I'm just saying it was working like it was supposed to. I'd have to restart the video, but it was still doing a really good job. Um, they like their nesting box. They get into their feed a lot like that. They don't, they're not pooping or nothing in it, which is a good thing. Um, I know it's on the ground and whatnot, but they're, they're not pooping in it. They're doing a good job on it. They're eating a little bit on the fish I have in here. They're mainly going to start eating on the maggots that the fish are going to produce, which is what I was wanting. But, uh, oh, yeah, he fell a little bit or she fell a little bit. They're all females. Uh, but I do want to bring you around and show you what I was working on yesterday. So as you see, I start, you know, as I showed you guys the other day, I started working on this. I'm going to actually burn this wood and uh, give it a nice collar to it and help protect it a little bit more. But I started yesterday, I started working on all this. It took me a couple hours. And as you see, yes, you can see that those are way too long. I'm going to cut them off and, re and fix everything. But it was just the pallets I had left over yesterday, so I started using those. But uh, it is coming along nicely. We are cutting this down and fixing this up for winter and uh i'm probably not going to seal it because it's going to be it's pretty it's pretty good and sealed the way it is um it's going to have greenhouse plastic over this i'm going to leave that there so it keeps the shade on them and everything so that's a good thing but yeah tomorrow or not tomorrow because i'm probably going to be working on the house tomorrow and the rest of the day today and probably the rest of this week i'm hoping but this weekend i'm going to hopefully take the last four pallets i have and finish off this section back here and the back section if I'm able to with with the four pallets I have left over. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm going to cut this off right here, and then I'm going to even these top rows off. I'm going to put another one up there for the top row to match with that one. Um, I wasn't going to, but since I put that one there, I have to finish that off so it looks it looks halfway decent. But I'm going to take my torch and I'm going to burn all this wood because I have a big propane torch and. Uh, burn all this wood to make it look halfway decent and uh that way i may i may not paint it after i do that i'm not sure but i probably won't end up painting it so but that's what i wanted to show you guys today i wanted to bring you up an update on the chickens to show you how they were doing and uh show you what i've been working on the past couple of days and everything going on um the new babies are getting really big the new baby rabbits are getting really big hopefully this weekend i can build a box for them so they can go out to southern states and be sold. Um, if I can't get them out there this week, I'm going to put them on Facebook. And if I can't sell them, we're just going to butcher them. So it's just kind of a, a catch-22. We're going to see what see what happens. Um, the water system still doing great. They love their water system. Uh, they get into it just fine. But I haven't filled that food up in three days. I filled it up three days ago, and it's just been sitting there just like that. Actually, Jacob filled it up three days ago, and it's just been... They just go through it when they want to and eat off the ground and eat out of the compost pile. They're doing a great job. They're the only things that don't really eat me out of house and home. The rabbits right now are eating me out of house and home because I got like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got 12 babies plus the th 
for uh, three mamas and my one mama has another litter of seven but they're still weaning so they don't really count um so it's 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 uh it's pretty rough right now we got a lot of mouths to feed uh, they'll pay for themselves when we start butchering them but other than that or sell them but other than that yeah it's it, we're going through food quite quite often I'd like to get them back on grass so I can cut the feed costs down, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. And if I do that, they're going to be out here, um, out back, back here. What I'd like to do is build them a pen like this so I know nothing can get into them. And uh, that's another adventure for another day, probably next spring. So we'll see, because I want to try to put a garden out here. I'll show you. This area right here, I actually want to turn this into a garden. Um, and then down where that white fi uh, fence post is, all of that through here and all of that out through there, out back where that, that's mowed, you can see another fence post uh, right there in between the trees. And it goes to that fence way over there and it goes past that fence and then um, up through the woods over there and out past the, uh, the second garden up there is where we own. And I need to fence all that off so I can get the goats out here so they can start working on my backfield and uh it's just tough it's just one thing after another and it's just been a slow process trying to get anything done so but yeah i'm going to turn this into a garden next year and uh i'm not sure how much of it is going to be a garden i'm hoping like 90 percent of it back here is going to be a garden so we can have a good set of garden back here and then right here i'm going to build the uh goat pen and then bring the um fence line up through here and then out through there, as you can see, there's another post right there. And then it goes to that post right down there, right there. And then up through there. So I can come up right through here and cut all this off. And then put the goat pen right here. That way it's under a shade tree. And they're nice and shaded the whole time. And then they can, I'm going to try to build a pond down there. A little stock pond. There's a creek down there. So I want to try to get a creek uh, it dug down into the creek. So the water can flow into it constantly. But I'm not sure how that's, that's going to happen or how that's going to work and I'll have to figure it out. So, but we're going to get there hopefully next spring. I can start working on all that. So we'll see what happens. Um, but right now that's about it for today, guys. I just wanted to bring you and show you what was going on with the chickens. And they're trying to get out right now because I left the door cracked open. Um, this, this door was just a pallet that a uh, slide came on for my niece. And so I used it for the door for the chicken coop. It worked out perfect. I didn't have to cut anything. I had to actually fix a little bit, but I didn't have to cut nothing. It actually was perfect for that. So that's about it. But all right, guys, I'm going to sign off. Uh, and well, one more thing is I, yeah, I am going to try to fix this end right here, but it won't be this year, unfortunately, because I am out of pallets. After those four, I'm, I'm out. So I'm going to finish. Well, what I could do is finish that one side and then start on this side and leave the back because the back's not going to get a lot of wind because it's the back and it's already protected by that right there. So we'll see what I do with that. I'm not sure. Um, I'll figure something out. But uh, all right, guys, I'm going to sign off. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless. Thanks to you for liking, subscribing, and hit that notification bell. And I will catch you all in the next video.